Honorable Speaker, sir. At the outset, I would like to thank you for admitting this very important zero-hour notice pertaining to the news item appearing in the local Khasi daily, Unong Sanjima, dated 14 February, under the caption, Tengkash Foklo Lapanon Kam Gamegalia Nagabanta Nirbhaya Fan. Megalia spends 10 crores on, from the Nirbhaya Fan. So, after going through the news items, huh? this is the reply given by the Honourable Minister, Women and Child Development in the, in the Parliament, pertaining to the implementation of the Nirbhaya Fund in our state, sir. Sir, considering that 10 crores has been spent in the past uh, few years, so we understand that the Nirbhaya Fund has been set up to address the safety and security of women in our country, sir. Under the Nirbhaya Fund, sir, one of the schemes that can be implemented is the one-stop centre scheme to facilitate women who are in distress, affected by violence and, and crimes. And under the one-stop centres, the facilities that should be there as part of the integrated services are police facilitation, medical aid, providing legal, psycho-social counselling and temporary shelter. Sir, it is also made to be understood that the OSCs are to be set up within two kilometres radius of the hospitals or medical facilities. And it is uh, somewhat learned that the one-stop centres are being set up at the district headquarters. Now, sir, my questions are, whether the one-stop centres have been set up in the state, why is it that women victims and victims of crime and uh, women victims of crime and violence have not been given legal and psychosocial and medical assistance, even legal? And uh, what kind of assistance is given, sir, for, uh, for those uh, victims? And why is it that the utilisation of the Nirbhaya Fund has been so low in our state, sir? when crimes of, against women and children are so high. So whether there is any toll-free number that uh, women and children can uh, connect to in their times of distress and if they are victims of such atrocities. So in Ribhoi, I have met many of the victims, their families. I do not see any kind of such assistance, any kind of support because they are being made to run from pillar to post whenever they go through such kind of uh, uh, incidents that puts a lot of social uh, stress, mental stress, and especially sir, the kind of uh, agony that they, they have to go through when they become victims of uh, crime and violence. Therefore, sir, we, know, we need to know the proactive steps that have been taken by the department to ensure that the Nirbhaya Fund is actually implemented on the ground, sir, and not uh, merely on paper, which is being submitted in, uh, in being circulated in public, sir. These are my few concerns, sir, and would uh, request the Honourable Minister to kindly address this issue, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, at the outset, I would like to express my sincere thanks to the MLA of Mroy Constituency, Sri Ba George Bilangdo, for moving the zero hour notice under the Rule 49A of the Rules and Conduct of Business on the, view, on the news item which appeared in the newspaper Unong Sain Hima, dated 14 February 2022, under the caption, Tangka Shpeklur Tam Lapundon Kam Kamighalia Naka Nirbhaya Fund. Women safety issues cut across sectors and can range from domestic to public place as well as workshop. Violence to women in, is an everyday occurrence for women and girls around the world, both in urban and rural areas. Women and girls experience various types of violence in public space, from harassment to assaulting, including stalking, molestation, rape, etc. Women face violence on street, public transport, and parks, in around school and workplace, in public sanitation fa facilities, 
and water and food distribution site or in their own neighborhood. These realities reduce women and girls' freedom of movement. It reduces their ability to participate in school, work, and in public life. It negatively impacts their health and well-being. In view of the above, the particular after the tra tra tragedy of Delhi gang rape case, government has set up the Nirbhaya Fund. The fund can be utilized for project of women <coughs> safety and security. The Ministry of Women and Child Development is the nodal authority for appraisal of schemes funded under Nirbhaya. The total amount received by the government of Meghalaya under Nirbhaya Fund with effect from 2016-17 to 2020-21 is 28 crore 56 lakh 17,000, out of which an amount of rupees 17 crore 94 lakh 27,000 have been utilized. Uh, department wise, sir, uh, in police department, we have this uh, scheme implemented under Nirbhaya Fund, that is National Emergency Response System and Emergency Support System, dial number 112. 2016-17 amount received is uh, 4 crore 63 lakh 39,000. Amount has been utilized. 3 crore 18 lakh 77,000 and 1 crore 1 crore 45 lakhs are pending with the state government for payment for CDAC and in the, for the same sir we received on 2019-20 27 lakh 49,000 utilized completely sir and setting up of women help desk in 2019-20, we received 50 lakh and utilized 25 lakh, and 25 lakh and spent and UC submitted, sir. And then setting up of anti-human trafficking unit at Ribohoy, 2018-19, we received 7 lakh 58,000. The money has been utilized and UC has been submitted, sir. Under police department, home department, uh, setting up of setting up or strengthening of anti-trafficking unit, we received on 2020-21 one crore 49 lakh is been utilized and UC has been submitted. Cyber forensic lab come training center, we received on the on 2017-18 we received. Uh, 1 crore 48 lakh that has been utilized and you see has been submitted. Hiring of two junior cyber forensic experts as consultant, uh, 12 lakh has been received under processor and then capacity building training towards implementation of the project. We received 2 lakh and then 70,000 has been utilized, 1.3 unutilized. Under police department, political, Meghalaya victim compensation scheme, we received 2000, we received 50 lakh on 2019-20, or 49 lakh point 91 thousand has been utilized. The government received a one-time grant to support the state victim compensation scheme, sir. And then law department, fast track special code, we received on 2019-20, one crore 68 lakh 75 thousand. It's been utilized 16 lakh 63,000. UC will be collected. The schemes was actually implemented in the financial year 2020-21. Under transport department, vehicle location, tracking device, and panic buttons. We received fund on 2020-21, which is uh, 5 crore 49 lakh, 49 lakh 60,000. And Social Welfare Department, One Stop Center for Women in 11 districts of the state, sir. We received fund on 2016 to 2021. Uh, 
uh, the fund received is uh, nine crore seventy five lakh seventy three thousand. It's been utilized seven crore eighty four lakh eleven thousand. Under helpline, the helpline is one eight one sir. Under helpline, the money has been received uh, two crore fifty two lakh sixty three thousand. It has it has been utilized two crore sixty seven point eight sir. And the total amount we receive all sir is twenty eight crores uh, fifty six lakh seventeen thousand, and the amount has been utilized. That is uh, 17 crore 94,000.27. This is the uh, utilization of all the funds uh, which we have received. So, with the above, I do hope that I made the matter clear to the honorable member and may I therefore uh, resume my seat, sir.